So this is an interesting little triangle. It's called Pascal's Triangle. And I'm actually going to go through the creation of Pascal's Triangle and explain it, which will probably serve you more service in the next lesson, which is D18, Binomial Theorem, or at least Applications of Pascal's Triangle. But anyways, Pascal's Triangle is a triangle that we use for what's called Binomial Theorem. So here is Pascal's Triangle. And I'll try and tell you what each row represents. Starts off with a 1, then a 1-1, one, one, then a 1-2-1. One, one. That's the sum of those two. The next one, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1. Notice how the number of columns is increasing. So 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, 1. We keep adding 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. I'm going to take one more row out, and I'll try and explain why it's important. 1, 7, 21, 35, 36, 37, 21, 7, 1. So, I made reference to what's called binomial theorem. It has to deal with how you handle increasing powers of binomials. So, say you had some binomial a plus b. Now, if you raise it to the zero, you get one. All right? If you raise it to the first, you get 1a plus 1b, because anything to the first power is itself. Notice the coefficients. All right, if you raise it to the second, well, here's what you get. You get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. All right, cool. That works for something like that. Let's go off the side and do something like maybe... 2x plus 3 to the 0. Well, that's still 1. All right. 2x plus 3 to the first is 1 2x plus 1 3. It's about a constant multiplier is what it is. That's what it's about. So maybe that helps. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, when you start getting working up the exponents, so it, it actually gets a little bit harder to deal with. So the next one's one two one. Uh, let's just say we were foiling it, and we'll try to establish the relationship to these numbers and what actually comes out. This is four x squared, huh? Plus what? Twelve x plus nine. Kind of hard to see where this is coming from, isn't it? But the purpose of this lesson will show you how to make, bino make Pascal's triangle. I'm actually going to stop the video, and I'm going to use this one and start over here for the next one. And I'll try and establish a relationship between these numbers and what actually happened. All right? So here's the first video.